No, it didn't read the textbook. So, the Simpsons came out. Yeah, we're so proud. We're so proud of them. So, obviously we know that it has to take place in 1991. A, uh, why can't it take place, you know, anywhere else before here? Because in 1991, the first TV was made. And with the hit show, The Simpsons. Now, The Simpsons came out in 1991. That's the earliest we can put this in the timeline. Now, what about Final Fantasy? There was one Final Fantasy. It was the Final Fantasy. So, and it ticked, and it came out in 1991. After that, no one ever cared about Final Fantasy again. <laughs> ever again. Ever, ever, ever again. again. Now, I do see in the audience, you. Ah, yes, you in the back. You in the back, <laughs> with the long hair and pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see you're smart. And don't worry, we're getting to your plot point. <laughs> and we have spent years deciphering it, but we've succeeded. <laughs> we have succeeded, yes. All right. I forgot where this was going. Oh, yeah! Professor. <laughs> What's the timeline? Well, the timeline is your mom. <laughs> oh! Finally. So there's a, a oh, damn. I need to write it down. Yes, yes, so, that'll be on the test. There's a character named Rumpelstiltskin. I'm going to refer to him as Rump from here. Rump. <laughs> there was a contract that Mr. Rump gave to who was it? Mike Solaire. Mike Solaire. That basically said everyone in these shows survives. Basically, a get out of jail free card. However, you know that's a very good theory, Professor. Uh, but since you're taking this class, obviously you need to learn a little bit more. That's when the next show comes in. Oh. This is... Ifity War. Wow. Ifity War. Ifity War. It's the Ifity War. Now, we could say, oh, everyone survives in the timeline because of Rumpy. No. And would you like to take that over, uh, Professor? Oh, of course. I would absolutely love to. So there is this relevant information that happened in Ifini War. <laughs> relevant information, indeed, that breaks this contract for the correct use of the term because there is Rule Breaker. I believe that was that show, yeah? No! No! no. <laughs> what you was? freaking that was, room! That was the first 18 plus! <laughs> hey, Yukari, shut your mouth! <laughs> <laughs> I feel what? like I'm a. Native Spanish speaker, fairly high school Spanish. <laughs> As you should be. What are you idiots trying to show us our yearbook and told us what happened? Yeah. <laughs> are you getting an attitude with the professors? Yeah. Do you want me to get up there and show you how you're wrong? No. Okay. <laughs> are on strike two. You don't want to know what happened. So, oh, in really Infinity War, so in Infinity War <laughs> the, the contract breaks because of, no, wait, he's actually right, because of Miley Cyrus! <laughs> <laughs> no, Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus breaking the time stream. Hecked up. <laughs> One of the characters from here who does the role break, and it actually takes place in Infinity, Infinity War, Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm so sorry. I yeah. mistakenly read a chapter ahead. Yeah, I, I accept your apology. Thank you. I hope I don't lose my tenure because of that. What's tenure? Yo, no way, you're 10 years old? That's awesome. Yeah. 10 year old professor. So 10 year old professor. So we have Infinity War. And because we just. The future of the chess show right there. Hey, Dread Pirate Roberts, I see you have a gun. <laughs> Please no shooting till the end of the class. <laughs> the end of the class is fine, though. No promises. Aww. No promises? Well, shoot Please me and out. find out what Students, happens. you're late. How could you be? Aw, oh, man, my dang Rumble panel didn't give out stickers. <laughs> What's mad? <laughs> so, if Biddy War happens here, um... And as we know, it happens in a house. It does. <laughs> I am ahead in the timeline. Give me You're a second. little, yeah, don't worry. You also ran ahead in the chapter. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> so, we're a little too, we're, okay, we're I'm sorry. We weren't, we weren't prepared for such an excited class this year. 
And because of that, we were also very excited, right ahead a bunch on the timeline. Yeah, yeah. the evidence. I'm, yeah, the evidence. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Not so okay. we, we know so that well, this is good. That this show has the collector and Haru Haru Suzuraki. Haru Suzuraki. Haru Susan. Haru Susan. And the collector. That's a strike. That's a strike. Yes. Not anymore though. Yeah, I'm sorry. Our textbooks are a little outdated. Uh, so we have a horror, 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 horror Susan. Susan. We have Susan versus the Collector. Now we know this because, again, of the OVA that came out around the same time, where she flicks a checker at him. This was a terrible decision because of this photographic proof. <laughs> Whoa! More evidence. A table. This bit gets really good. Trust me. <laughs> oh, this is a bit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Those are all this. So as you can see right here, this is a chessboard with checkers on it because I can't draw. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. The picture quality is blurry. Oh no. <laughs> Excuse me. Checkers is an entirely different show. We'll checkers is just a framing device. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get there. And we'll get there. Oh no. What happened to Hari and Susan? <laughs> she died. Yeah! She got beheaded by the collector. This is only if you watch the OVA, though. It's not in the main series because they thought it was too controversial. <laughs> I think they're they're bad guys for that. Yeah. I would say more rude words, but I don't know what the font is. Like censorship of art. I don't know where the font is. <laughs> 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 want to make sure they're here. They're yes. Hey, if the, the volunteer's here, can you please raise your hand? The oh, the volunteer's outside? outside. Oh, Fuck! <laughs> 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 Professor! I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm shirts if that's needed. <laughs> yeah, that's your wife. Oh, we're good. We're good. One one. So, this is, so this is Har- 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 Susan. Mm-hmm. Uh, get on the ground. But now, this doesn't matter. I just found it funny. <laughs> so ignore what you <laughs> should say. Give me that evidence. It was just for comedy. I just thought you should all know. Now, next, we have shows, I'm going to be honest, as a professor studying this very, very closely, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> These are the slogs that is 2012, 2011, and 2013, which I'm going to diagnose in the furry era. <laughs> <laughs> When does this have to take place? Oh, I'm sorry. This takes place in 2000. Yes, thank you. I'm I'm so sorry. It's okay. Oh, this is 2009. Oh, I'm such a goober. Triple zero. Triple zero. So this is the furry era. I think that year's now. When does it end? Never. Never. Okay. Hold on. You'll always be here. That's an actual rainforest. But what I wanted to do. <laughs> Are you looking at photos of the rainforest again? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I have. Yes, oh, okay. rainforest. Who ran ahead? Bonus points to you. Ooh, if you had any strikes, they're gone. If you had any strikes, they're gone. This era officially officially ends with the fall of rainforest. Uh, there's no more rainforest. They're gone. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 2014, right? 2014? I just feel a soft question. 2015. That's not what we're here for. Yeah, 2015. This takes place in 2015? Wow. Yeah. Did we just skip 15 years? Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. We skipped seven years from here to here. There's no important character development here. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> At most, Nagito may be dead, but that, <laughs> that's... He could be only... plotting something in the background this entire know. time. We don't know. Time is broken. Time is broken. The time stream, all of this feels like minutes. Mm-hmm. I thought it was minutes. What? Okay. I thought it was minutes. <laughs> oh, oh god, wait, no, I wasn't supposed to show that to you guys. Oh, I know. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so we have the, the fall of rain first, and also DashCon, because I decided to lump the chapters together. That's fair. <laughs> DashCon was 2014. Close enough. <laughs> round up. We round up. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Round up to the nearest F you. 
what you think. No. no What's next in the timeline? Jesus Christ. That's right. Jesus Christ. That's right. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh God. We're having some flashbacks now. Delicious time. Is the student okay? No, I'm not good team. <laughs> hey, Professor Tim. I feel you. My yeah, eyes are twitching. <laughs> <laughs> I got like water. Will that work? Yeah. No. Just pour that on me, baby. Right, so, save the time in the, to lack of a better term, cringe ass show. <laughs> Santa 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 the bad year. The bad year. Of 2016. <laughs> we all remember it. Professor. Professor. So, so bad. So, what's next for the timeline? I'm going to have to erase all this evidence if anyone wants to take it. Yes, please. And do we have, we have all of it? Professor. Yes. We have recordings? Okay, that's good. And let's make sure that they get shared around the class for 9 11 in chess history. I'm so glad you asked. We'll get to that later. No. We've got, some, we've got photos. Everyone's going to be able to share that around for notes later. Yeah, for notes. I'll airdrop it. Airdrop it? Perfect. Yeah, airdrop it. I'm going to keep that. 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 Purgatory. Not fanon, but purgatory. But no, purgatory. It's, it's literally yes. in purgatory. Harlock traveled outside the timeline to go to purgatory, because and then went the back to his timeline broken, later. So yeah. <laughs> his ship can do whatever he wants. It's That's a plot device. <laughs> I will tell you about timeline happiness works when we get to another show that destroys. Yes, it. That, that'll that'll mess with the fluctuation. But just know that this, this is the, the first instance of this. Yes. That's why we bring it up so early in the timeline. And throughout <laughs> those various years where we after we brought this up, uh, oh, he's gone full rip off his beard mode. Uh, the, the, the timeline happiness has fluctuated, but no more than three to four percent either way. And this a fifteen percent. So early? Uh, I, I'd like to ask. Sure. So, so you're stumbling, your eyes are twitching, and you have the pen that says I'm allergic to, su to stupidity. Yeah, you all are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 God, I, have, I had an EpiPen. Um, <laughs> reaction. Okay, so the next one is actually a more recent one that a few of you may have started this year, which is The House Always Wins. Woo. 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 Well, I don't know. Why don't you ask Yay. that one right there? A surviving king of that. Like, yeah. Oh. Are you the one that wins? Listen, everyone thinks I'm handsome. Jack, my name is Tim. I don't know. Who <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. In the house? Timothy, don't lie to me. I saw you. <laughs> But I didn't see, I've never seen you and Jack in the same room. Wait, it's true. Right? No, 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 not you not never see them in the same room. Which, okay, so, the, this is the only one where we don't have to decipher any clues that the authors of chess wrote out. This is actually taking place in current year of 2023, specifically January. How do we know this? I'm so glad you asked. The OVA literally says that the show takes place in early January. Yes. No. no. I Did somebody say no? What does the V stand for? An OVA? Video. Vendetta. V2? V2. Yep. Vampires. You were supposed to take That's this right. last year. Damn. Vincent, yeah, it right. said it's original video yeah. animation. Are you saying? That is a good question. Did you not take the, the prerequisite course for this? How did you get here? <laughs> oh, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. You want yeah. next yeah. door? Strap him to the chair. <laughs> Don't let him get his coat. I got perfect luck. 
<laughs> yeah, you, no, not yet, not yet. That's not, that's not relevant yet. That's not relevant yet. So, this is fun because any we know that if any of the surviving characters ever appear again in a chess show, they can't happen before this because everyone is stranded on Pandora. Because. <laughs> Because oh, Connor the android blew up the train back to Japan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, how did, how did a train from Japan to the planet of Pandora happen? Japan. Japan. It's from Japan. <laughs> it's from Japan. It's, it's, it's Japan. a way up on train. <laughs> Quantum <laughs> nanotechnology. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Speeding it up a little bit, we're going to. It's always sunny in Transylvania. Oh, oh no! Oh, boy. That was my first chess show. <laughs> no. Full marks. Now I, I, I do have to, to point out was, one singular thing before you go on us. on this one. How sure, go ahead. Relevant to the oh. side <laughs> because this is also arguably and heatly debated, and you may write your essay on this topic for your final project, um, if this is actually a canonical episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> yes. And if it is, you feel free to choose that as your topic. I love write, I love reading the essays for the final project that are about that. This is, I this, said I love Reddit. I love Reddit. <laughs> no, that too. This will get me right now. I'm going to the RIT Cosplay or subreddit. Professor Teens, you better not say it. What? You better not do it. What? You better not. Do you know, that? from this show. You better not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if I want my topic to be... You have to Akko was not the first person to say that. That is, yes, that is true. I was just about to mention that. Full marks, go What if I want to write my... Full marks, go What if I want to write my final essay on how Nightmare and Dream Man is actually canonically a, a It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia episode? You can. We won't... Honestly, we won't, I haven't seen any essays done for a final project on that, and I would love to read it. We won't criticize you for the topic you pick. We will criticize everything else you write about. Exactly. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, how about this idea about... The number of British people in each game. It seems to change. That's there are five. five. <laughs> it's a fluctuating number of five point decimal numbers. It's repeating, of course. Okay. okay. Yes. Because in the show, not to spoil a little bit, to get onto the oh, yeah, subject. Well, yeah, of course. There were exactly 5.1 British people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But that's a that's a that is a different, waiting number. That's a different homework assignment. We're not going to worry not, about that. Yeah, we're not on that topic. If we today. if we did, I would spend an hour what? dissecting what shallot is. Yeah. <laughs> I can explain if you'd like no. me to. No, I don't. <laughs> anyway, you shall not. How, how un always sunny rel is relevant to timeline. So always sunny has to take place here the because it introduces a character. Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Professor Santa. <laughs> so, as we all know, living in the year of 3174. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, put the date on the paper. Oh, yes. Uh, I will take off points for that. So, living in 3174, we know that this must be this must take place here because Santa was not introduced until 2027 when he crashed from a meteor. Now, what we don't know is the original Santa was killed. This is this is the conspiracy. All right, I don't like talking about conspiracies in my classroom, but there is a very contested theory that Santa is Santa the second because of one no of a purple guy. <laughs> now, whether you choose to believe this theory or not is the complaint. No, this is where the conspiracy goes. Oh, thank you. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, Professor. I, yeah. no, yeah. I, I, I forget. The fire pink guy in 1987, which turned him into Santa Claus in 1987. So, purple guy. Yeah, had. So, you know, he was a pink guy. Yes. However, in the never, ex the a very exclusive Noel. 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 Yeah. Noel. The novel Noel. Yep. It is revealed that pink guy was just a front. Oh. For... 
from Willie Appy. <laughs> and he told you he'd come back! He came back! Yeah. But Kamada's still dead, right? Comes back, all right? Maybe. <laughs> now, whether you choose to believe years. this or not is completely up to you. I'm just presenting the arguments for it. But then again, you could say, no, it can't be Purple Guy. Because, Professor, that's right. fucking stupid. <laughs> 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 You're getting heated. You're getting heated. I get it. I get it. Well, whether you choose to believe it or not is. All up to you. You already used your one. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, what? it's a professor, professor, please! We can't handle another lawsuit! <laughs> Alright, fine, fine, fine. Alright, then we'll, we'll just move on. We fine. Then we'll move on. We got a licensed lawyer here, we good. Is this professor going to be in the next session? Oh my god. Joe, no way, can you cosplay professor? What was my name again? Professor Dan. Oh yeah. Cosplay Professor Dan for next show, that's awesome. <laughs> so next we have Dungeons and Dipsticks. Except that's not the name, I just don't know how to spell diplomacy. <laughs> now this, this is where the timeline really starts to spiral down. Do you guys remember in chapter one, we talked about timeline happiness quota? We're bringing that back, all right? It'll, it'll come up very soon. So in Dungeons and Dipsticks, there are two kings. This guy, which is, no, no, he's not dead. This is Xander. He's the king of Nor, except he's not. He's the prince. I lied to you again. <laughs> and next we have his good pal, definitely not Jesus Christ. <laughs> AKA Funny Valentine from from uh, Gojiro's Bizarre Adventure. Yep. Jim Jones. Jim now, Jones. to summarize a very contentious chapter, they. They kiss and make up. <laughs> Essentially, that's what happens. Uh, there's a lot more of this. Well. It's a horse. It's a horse! It's a horse. It's a horse. Oh, I'm so sorry, ladies and germs. Yes, thank you. As, as most diplomacy does end, it ends romance in a Brian Griffin horse. In a Brian Griffin horse. So we, yeah, they, they went off into the sunset to become roommates. Just like the real ending of Steel Ball Run. We don't talk, but that's next door if you guys want. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so, what happens in here? Now, I summarize this plot real quick, where they kiss and make up. Mm -hmm. yep. But Xander didn't want to kiss at first. <laughs> so he decided to host a game of death, involving a character... Known as Mis uh, Mr. L. Um, now, who here can tell me the identity of Mr. L? Nobody. Mr. Not. L. Wait, wait, where's, where's Herlock? Herlock, you're a detective. Tell me who Mr. L is. Have you ever heard of Callum? <laughs> who? Who? Luigi. No, who? Luigi. That's ridiculous. That's, that is so absurd. If you write your final project essay on that, I will just fail it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no substantial evidence. Gojo. Mr. L's what I'm about to hand you, bozo! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Gojo. Can you say yippee? <laughs> yippee! Yay! I, I saw a hand up in the bag. You, yeah, you. I think I know who he is. Who is he? Please tell me. This entity called Chris Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, you definitely read ahead. Go ahead and mark it down. So, Charles Martin. who is, who is Luigi? Lasagna. Luigi. He's lasagna, he's Garfield. If you, if you write your essay on that, you're grounded. You're not feeling the grounded. You can't in the classroom. Uh, so it turns out that Mr. Ellis actually. Oh, oh no! I'm sorry, I don't hear stupid. <laughs> Read my badge, it says I don't. Also, I would, I would, I would please refrain from arguing with them. Yeah. Uh, it's very, I have it's very rude and trying. very tasteless. And I am a tasty man. <laughs> so, that'll be on the test. <laughs> it's a true or true question. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> now, Xander kills Mr. L because he had a bad day. Yep. <laughs> because he got he, his beach got bulldozed, and they were like, we paved paradise and put up a parking lot. Reasonable. Oh, Reasonable. Which is what the song is based Which off is, of. Yeah. Secret, secretly, did you know that in the God year of 2031, that the paved paradise and put up a parking lot, which came out then, of course, uh, is inspired by Dungeons and Dipsticks. So, so Waluigi died. Yep. Now, who would have a problem with this? That's Mario. right, Mario. Why would Mario have a problem? Because they're brothers, idiot. <laughs> so, Mario, so Mario, in a blood-fused rage, collects heroes from all across the timeline that were broken here. Now, due to this meddling shenanigans, timeline happiness goes down to 70. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. That's a 15% drop. 15% drop because of Mario. Because Mario is angry. Yeah, Mario, Mario, Mario is angry. Mario is so angry, he injured Gurr. Yeah. Damn it, Never so make Mario angry. Angry Mario. It's a C is so happy. happy. Exactly. So this is yeah. Mario right here. He's kind of mad. What? What? Oh! The car. He's in a car. He's in a car. So what, so what he does is he collects heroes from different time points, which gets us to a show of bravery. Oh. Now, you may say, but Professor, Mario was not in a show of bravery. <laughs> to which, <laughs> but, Scott, why are you laughing? Because it's very sad what happens to him. It's referenced in this show what happened to him, and you all laughed. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah, look, Herlock did this. So, it's confirmed that Mario... Mario is missing. <laughs> Except I lied to you to do a funny title. Mario is actually dead. <laughs> Who is the killer? Herlock, tell us. Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Oh no! <laughs> this is what steals his role in the upcoming movie. The betrayal. Chris Pratt murdered Mario. We have to him. Murdered Mario. Not Marius. Yes, Anyone Marius? So this is after he collected all the heroes, including a funky little guy with a cylinder on his head. That's on the test, he's just my favorite character. <laughs> <laughs> um, like a bonus question. Yeah. Who's the man who rolled? So I said that'll be a bonus question. Yeah, that'll be a bonus question, question of who's my favorite character in all of these. Yeah, the you have to do it, right? What? The funny guy. The funny guy, yeah. The French man. No. So what what happens is Mario has this car full of people. He stuffed them in there like a clown car. And now Mario is dead. By Chris Pratt's hands. Now, Chris Pratt. Crispy Rat. Crispy Never mind. Rat. We're, we're rewriting this. We're going Crispy Rat. 